Uh, people ask me why I don't recommend my own month long. Uh, and I guess simply it breaks down to shit stinks but it's warm. Uh, if you're living a life that's pretty good and you're somewhat satisfied with it, stay there. You know, when I did my month long, boy, it tore everything up. Uh, everything that I thought I knew uh, was challenged and thrown in the gutter. Everything that I thought I believed was, and all not delightfully so at the time. Um, sometimes I went kicking and screaming because I didn't know where we were going. I, I knew I kept reverting back to the first experience I had in this technology, which was delightful for me. I loved it. And so when my mind would go, Jesus, oh, this is stupid, this is, I quit, I'm not going to do this anymore. As often as I could, I would go back and say, okay, this is what I want to learn. I want to learn this aspect of the technology. So I'm going to go ahead and put forth the effort and stay with the month long. And, but a lot of the character traits that you've spent so much time learning and that are inefficient get pointed out to you. So a lot of the time it seems like we're just making you wrong, and we're not. We're looking to see, okay, where are you being inefficient? Where can you be more efficient? Where can I show you how to respond to life as opposed to react to life? Where can I sit down with you and say, okay, look here. If you react here and you go into conflict, right, you're going to stay in that conflict for a long period of time. Whereas if you do it this way and step out of the conflict and go in and respond to it. Now, there's times when conflict are necessary. There's times when it's absolutely necessary to go into a person's conflict. Uh, for example, I was in California, I was doing a preview, there was a young man taught in another system, I'm not going to name it, Landmark Education, and he was giving his speak from there. Uh, if you've done anything with him, you know they have a jargon. And his life was shit, according to him. It wasn't going the way he wanted to go. He was married to a beautiful woman, getting divorced. His practice wasn't going well, and he kept throwing this jargon at me. And I finally went into his conflict, and I screamed at him. And I said, you know, um, you're so offensive with your speak to people. I said, it just puts off this, I, apparently you like where you are in your life. And he s said, well, I apologize for offending you. And I said, I didn't say you offended me. I said, you're offensive. Because there was so much conflict, all I was trying to do was bump him out of the conflict to see, can you see what you're doing? Can you see that you're justifying your miserable existence? When we got done with the preview, a man came up to me, one of the participants, and he said, good tactic. And I said, what do you mean, good tactic? He said, well, he said, maybe he'll do your class now. I said, I don't want him to do my class. He doesn't want to do my class. It wasn't a tactic. There's so much conflict in his system. Somebody has to be, have the courage to feed back to him. Right? On that note, a client of mine from California said to me years ago, I don't know whether you're really, really brave or really, really stupid when you work, but most of me bends towards stupid. I did self-actualize as a village idiot. It's who you get to deal with. Month-longs are worth it, and I don't recommend them. Sit in that paradox, www.micpeakperformance.com.